Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again with another LaunchBox tutorial. Today I want to show you how to import movies into your LaunchBox and Big Box setup. Now you can always import Kodi and stream your movies like that, but I have a lot of movies for the kids that I have on hard disk because I don't want them to scratch up the regular disk. I don't want them streaming something that they're not supposed to be. So I have set movies for them. They're on my desktop here. This one's not for the kids, Night of the Living Dead. This is the old one. One thing I do recommend is naming your movies accordingly. I have seen some people with some weird names. So like, let's say this is the Lion King. If you have this name, the Lion King AVC 246 or whatever you have it named, it's probably not gonna scrape correctly. We're gonna be using a new third party plugin by Slip System. This is a really awesome plugin. It's called Movie Scraper Plugin 2.0. I'm gonna download this file. Link is in the description. You need to download these third-party plugins at your own risk. I've tested this and it works great. So this is really simple to do. LaunchBox comes pre-loaded with VLC player. So I recommend going to your LaunchBox directory, mine's under my C drive, users, LaunchBox, and find VLC. We're gonna launch VLC. Now I'm on a 64-bit operating system. If you're on a 32-bit, go ahead and launch the x86 version. I'm gonna go for the 64 and I'm gonna launch VLC. If it asks you for an update, go ahead and update. I've already went through the process with mine. Next thing we wanna do is set up a hotkey to exit VLC. I'm gonna set mine to escape. So I'm gonna to go to tools, preferences, hotkeys. Now you can always use a different video player if you don't like VLC, this will work the same. You're just gonna to have to find out how to set up your hotkey to exit but it's basically going to be the same. I've used VLC for years and I love it. So at the top here, we're gonna search for quit. This will shut down VLC. Now I have mine set to escape. All you gotta do is double click. I'm gonna unset it. I'm gonna double click quit, hit escape. Now my hotkey to close VLC player is set to escape. Go to save and we'll just exit VLC player. Now what we're gonna do is install this new plugin. I have mine downloaded. This is the Movie Scraper plugin. Got it from the LaunchBox website. I'm just gonna right click, extract, extract to Movie Scraper. Make sure you have one folder with the contents inside. We're gonna go back to our LaunchBox directory and find our plugins folder. Double click, I'm just gonna drag this right into the plugins. So next thing I wanna do is add my movies to my LaunchBox directory to keep everything portable. You don't have to do this, but I recommend keeping LaunchBox portable in case you wanna take it to another system. I'm gonna place my movies folder in my games folder. You can pretty much place it anywhere as long as you know where it is, but I find it easier just to put it in with the games. One last thing here, for Big Box, I have created a clear logo. It's nothing special, just really quick. If anybody else wants to make a really cool clear logo, let me know in the comments below and send it over because I'll definitely use it. But this will be up for grabs in the description if you want to get it. We're going to start LaunchBox. Now it's pretty simple to set up VLC inside of LaunchBox. What we're going to do is go to Tools, Manage emulators, add emulator, emulator name. I'm gonna name it movies. We're gonna browse to our emulator application path. And in this particular instance, we're gonna be navigating to our VLC directory. Like I said before, if you're on a 32-bit operating system, choose the x86 version. If you're on 64, go to the 64. We're just gonna choose the vlc.exe. Default command line parameters. We want this to launch in full screen. So we're gonna type hyphen F. Associated platforms. We're just gonna name this movies. And make sure default emulator is checked. Click okay, close. Now it's time to import our movies. Tools, import, ROM files. Next, I'm gonna add my movie folder. 
It's in my LaunchBox directory under my C drive, users, LaunchBox, games. And then I'll find movies. Click OK. Next. Platform for imported ROMs. I'm going to name this movies. And we're not going to scrape it as anything because the built-in scraper in LaunchBox will not scrape our movies. That's why we're using that third-party plugin by Slip System. Go to Next. Choose an emulator, Movies. If it's not chosen, make sure Movies is chosen here. Next, I'm going to use the files in their current location because I already placed them in my LaunchBox directory. Would you like to download metadata for your games? We would, but we can't right now because it just won't scrape Movies. Just click Next. So all the way through here, we're just going to click Next. When we get to this, we'll click Next one more time. Now this is gonna show us the name of the movie, the directory of the movie, and the extension. I have some AVIs, an MKV, and some MP4s. Click Finish. Four games were imported successfully. Click OK. So over in the left-hand column here, we should have a new movie section. Now, like I said before, LaunchBox won't scrape the artwork for the boxes, but the new third-party plugin that we installed by Slip System will. Only downside to this is you have to scrape each movie individually right now, and hopefully, maybe in the future, he'll make a plugin that works automatically for everything. Very easy to do. We're going to right-click, Scrape Movie. It's going to find the metadata and the artwork for us. Click Accept. Now to refresh our images, we can press F5 on our keyboard, or we could go to Tools, Refresh All Images. F5 works great though. The Little Mermaid. Right click, Scrape Movie, Accept. Night of the Living Dead. Right click, Scrape Movie, Accept. Transformers, the movie. Right click, Scrape Movie. Okay, now we're gonna press F5. And there you have it. You now have scraped artwork and metadata for your movies. So now I'm just gonna start Night of the Living Dead, double click. We'll go full screen with VLC and the movie will start playing for us. Click escape, as long as you set that up in VLC, it will shut it down for you. Now I wanna show you how this looks in big box mode, but first we're gonna add that clear logo that I created to our launch box platform images clear logo directory. So if you downloaded this or if you made your own, we'll just go to our LaunchBox directory. We're gonna find images. We'll scroll down until we see platforms, movies, clear logo, and we'll place movies.png right in here. I'm gonna start big box mode. And here are our movies. So we can watch them directly from within Big Box. Such a cool feature. And I'm gonna start Night of the Living Dead. Go to play, it'll start VLC, go full screen, and we're now watching Night of the Living Dead in 1968, the original black and white version, not the horrible color remade version. Just skip on into it a little bit. If you've never sat down and watched this original movie, you need to. Press escape on my keyboard, bring us right back into Big Box. So I've been using a few of these third-party plugins built by the community for a few days now. They are amazing. A lot of them work great, a lot of them need work, but overall, you as the end user can only benefit from this. These guys are working really hard getting these plugins made. There are a lot on the website now and even more coming. Really appreciate you guys watching. If you could hit that like button and subscribe to the LaunchBox channel. And like always, thanks for watching.